am the former Grand Chief of the Wyandotte of Anderdon Nation. How many years have you been coming out here for? Uh, I've been here since the inception of this program. I've been uh, deeply involved as an activist first. Now this is uh, this is 1750. Uh, approximately, this would be for the Humbug Marsh unit itself proper. This was called William Walker's Trading Post. This is uh, 40 years after the after the large group of Wyandotte that came with Cadillac and settled Detroit. There was already a contingent of Wyandots here from the early 15th century and probably earlier. of up to 10 species that we can find here in Michigan. He's called a barred owl because of the bars you see here on his belly. Excellent enhanced tree camouflage, if you will. The barred owl I have is around nine years old. He's with us at the Leslie Science and Nature Center. And we brought him today because he's one of the more important top predators you might find in different wetland, marshy habitats. His big preferred habitat is kind of a old growth forest where you have large decaying or dying trees and where he'll live in the holes of those trees. Some of his diet though would be things like crayfish, fish, mice, snakes, frogs, toads, and more. These are lake sturgeon, they're native. Uh, these fish came from a hatchery in Wisconsin and reside in our office. Uh, they're about three years old and they'll get about this big if you can see that. These are lake sturgeon. So these are like the only, really the only sturgeon we have in the Great Lakes, but there's a, there's about 20 different species in North America alone and worldwide there's even more. We just found a wild Lucas Ott, so we're going to go ahead and see what he's up to and interview him. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing all right. The interview, interviewee is interviewing the interviewees. It's real classic. What are you doing right now? Are you learning about duck calls, like Duck Dynasty? I just got a band, a Point Moulay State Wildlife Area map, because I love hunting and I already know all of it, but whatever. Um, I'm talking to this nice man right here about hunting. I already know all of it, so I don't know why I'm talking to him, but yeah, it's great. This is Riley Cole with the World Wetlands News, and dude, I just found a wolf. I just found a coyote. We're going to go over there and ask him some questions. So what's life like outside of this gymnasium whenever you were actually out there uh, exploring the wilderness? We've got some hand drums, uh, turtle rattle, uh, some pipes, talking stick, uh, walking staffs. This is the eighth annual World Wetlands Day, eight times I've been doing this. This is stuff that's outside right now. This is in your neighborhood, and a lot of students see that connection and start thinking about not just ways to go green, but maybe careers in science, careers in environmental science. Some kids just decide that they like to be outside a little bit more because they know the names of things out there. I like to use that. You do realize I'm going to be a DNR. 